So if you've been watching the news over the past few weeks, you might get the sense the U.S. is hemorrhaging jobs as high-profile companies from Amazon to Meta to Goldman Sachs and IBM lay off thousands of workers. It has been brutal for the tens of thousands of people affected, including some people here inside NBC Universal. But one of the constants of the Biden economy is that there is a weird persistent gap between the media's coverage of the economy, which is almost always everything's terrible, and what the data show about its actual state. And once again, here we are. The Commerce Department reported today the U.S. economy grew by 2.9 percent in the fourth quarter of 2022. And after the economy fell off a cliff during the pandemic, we now seem to be, look at that, back on the same growth trend as before the pandemic hit. That did not happen for years after the great financial crisis. I think it's safe to say this has been one of the most successful, remarkable recoveries in all of American economic history. We have the lowest unemployment rate in 50 years. Job growth over the past two years, the highest rate ever. More jobs in the first two years of the Biden administration than any president ever. Inflation is coming down. Wages are up, particularly concentrated in the lowest quintiles. All of this, which progressive economics brought to bear, getting cash into people's hands, getting people back to work, running the economy hot, even risking inflation, is bearing incredible fruit if the Federal Reserve doesn't kill it by raising rates. Hey, sir, wrong with his medulla oblongata.